what's going on what is going on good morning everybody there I am still laying in bed kind of looks kind of looks weird Here we go. Let me get this game set right Every time I have to go and make sure the title of the game is right. <clears throat> In Twitch. In Twitch. Good morning, this is your buddy Edward. Streaming to you live on Twitch. Playing a little Star Citizen today. That's right. A patch is going to be incoming any day now and when that happens you stand a chance of losing any of your customized stuff any of the customized we're having gray hair I guess my, my space dude is in good shape but the, the real life dude doesn't have that much gray hair, but has a lot more fat. But yeah, this is the this is the in character creator. This is how I created my guy, and uh, it does not look like me in real life. Definitely not. Definitely not. Although I will say this: this guy has no tattoos. And neither do I. I don't have any tattoos in real life, so we're similar that way. Uh, but this guy's got more gray hair than I have. Although my beard started to show gray, but my, the, my hair on my head only has occasional gray strands. But uh, we learned earlier that the, uh, the underwears are made into the character models, so there is no way to hack and take off the underwears. But, so what I was saying is there's a patch incoming and any of the stuff that you have <clears throat> custom equipped to your ships, like if you've bought guns <clears throat> that aren't the standard loadouts, but they're guns that you bought in the game. <clears throat> Say for instance on your, uh, on your origin. 325A, you'll notice my uh, my wing nose and uh, right wing are empty. I took guns that I bought off, so I wouldn't lose them when the patch comes in. Doesn't always happen, but it could happen. Also, if you have uh, if you have things on your character um, if you have a weapon uh, if you have other things you might lose those items P8 SMG let's get us some uh, holographic Bear Magazine, P8 SMG is what we need, P8 SMG. Oh, I want one of these to be the arc light. And then that's what I want my uh, side arm to be the opt, okay. I think it remembered all the stuff that I had for my uh, okay yeah it's pulling back all the stuff that I had before med pin let's get a med pin there let's get a med pin there let's get an oxy pin 
Oxy pin, and let's get one. One the knife. Okay. Boom. So what I did was last night before I went to sleep, I put, I took all that stuff off in case the patch hit overnight. Let's see what contracts are available to us. And we're not doing mining because the patch would reset mining, refining jobs, or any cargo that was loaded on ships. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to accept this call to arms. Always accept that first thing. I don't really want to work on these because I'll pay to do them and I think the progress on them is going to reset when the patch hits. So let's just keep doing our VLRTs and let's go ahead and equip our ship in order to uh, go after these VLRTs. I'm going to do what I've been doing. I'm going to use the 325 again and put the uh, attrition's. left wing attrition repeater right wing attrition repeater nose attrition repeater okay so now we got guns on our ship we got our armor and all that other stuff on Go do some work. Good morning. people don't have their mic or their VoIP on in games and you can talk to them but you never hear anything back usually. It may surprise them. They may be just simply stunned and surprised that they heard somebody talking to them. They may have VoIP turned down so it doesn't annoy them or they may not remember which key and by default it's the plus on the keypad that you use to talk. Now what I've got is I've got a button on my mouse got a Logitech gaming mouse and it's got like two buttons on the side where my thumb usually lays and so I've got one of those bound to general and I've got another one bound to proxcoms and I'm noticing up here those aren't firing off so what I'm going to do is when we get done with our elevator ride I'm map those buttons real quick. I was playing around with my keyboard bindings to get my uh, to get my weapons to, to fire and uh, it would appear I undid pad 01 yeah it would appear I undid that so let me fix that one once we get here on the elevator where we're going. So that guy actually didn't hear me because I didn't have a, uh, I didn't have uh, the button that I thought bound to uh, to proximity chat. So let's do that real quick. So you'll get to see me do that. I don't change a lot of bindings, which is good because every time you, every time a patch hits, every time you delete your user folder. You'll have to do this. So the way that we would do this is we would go into options, key bindings, comms VoIP and 
Just gonna make sure my microphone is there. And then control uh, key bindings. Uh, we find the uh, VoIP. So NumPad Plus. Uh, mouse button five and VoIP. Mouse button four. So boom, just uh, change those two. Now they work like I expected. Excellent. Oh, wait a minute. This is it's further back on the ship. See, they've put those little circles and dots now to help you find out, you know, figure out where you enter into these ships, which can be pretty dang handy. shields to come up. go now we'll get the joysticks up there on the desk Spaceship. And again, I like the 300 series better than the 100s. The 100s just seem, they just seem cramped. First bounty of the day. I'm gonna cut off global chat. So we'll get close to this marker and that'll activate it to spawn the bounty.
just give it a second to spawn. Depending upon server tick rate, it can take sometimes 30 seconds or so to spawn. Now there's somebody behind me. So I'm gonna be defensive here. I'm gonna fly around. I'm gonna pick up somewhere I can fly to. And we're gonna peace out. Take some damage. But yeah, if you're, you know, one on one, it's not a big deal. When they get help spawn in, it makes it more difficult. But there's a bug in this patch where you're supposed to be on very low threat missions, but the help that comes in can actually be a much more powerful ship. So if they spawn in in front of you, you can look and see what they are on the radar and you can make a decision about staying and fighting. In that case, the guy was behind me. And it's like, you know what? Uh, risk reward says, you know, jump out. And that's what I did. I got out of there. So we don't have to land, we just have to hover over the pad and do repairs and restock. 
and that'll fix it. that center of our ship, the top left corner. Up there, uh, top left corner screen, you can see the top of the ship has got that red, that red look to it. That's because I took some damage. And so we'll get that fixed. Please proceed to sign landing bay. Even though we're gonna hover, I wanna hit and put the gear down. That is the bottom. inside this box even if we haven't landed sometimes it works better if you don't land we can hit our repair landing complete landing complete have a pleasant stay and watch that red disappear Yeah, those are the fuels that just happened. Boom, boom, boom. There goes our repairs. Thank you very much. So now we can say, okay, we're going to leave again. You don't have to. You could just pick up and fly, but I prefer to do it this way. We got a message. What was it? We need to talk. Personal. That was from uh, Tisha Pacheco Twitch. This is a personal mission, and that can involve doing criminal things. Right? Just as an FYI, the general ones typically won't get you the uh, the um, criminal stat, but the personal personal ones will. So this Royce Silverman is who we're looking for now. Where are you, Royce? Oh, you're over here. Launch complete. Landing gear raised. But again, I think the patch is going to reset progression with the uh, job givers and the track and the certifications and stuff. So because of that, I'm just going to knock out these VLRTs. Very low threat rating or something like that. I have my joystick forward when I hit the warp it changes from controlling the throttle to controlling the view that's why it looks down at my crotch sometimes when I jump to warp so we'll go ahead and get close to the marker and let this mission trigger
again. Maybe sometimes it'll be 30 seconds to a minute before it'll trigger. I don't know exactly how close you have to get to, to the marker to make it trigger. It's certainly not this close, but I just do it anyway. Okay, there you go. It just triggered. And when it pops up red, when it, when it makes contact on the radar, I then hit the T key to target. And that's... Contact. Crosshair's there, and now I'm hitting with the center cannon. This guy's got scatter guns. That's nice. Let's get another bounty. Another red dot just spawned in. So what I'm doing is I'm going off in a different direction while my my stuff is spooling, and then now I'm going to cut back and jump out and go to the next bounty. I could stay and fight that guy, and I accept a call to arms, but it's not going to pay as much as the next bounty. So. There's no shame in running away. Some people like the arrow, the hawk. You know, there's a couple smaller fighter ships that people, you know, like. You could do these missions with, uh, with the auroras. You certainly could. like the marker may be inside this rock. There we go. Let's not fly into a rock while we're out here. That's a, it's a rock or space debris could injure be a bad thing could end your day. Very nice. Very nice. So I was just uh, I was just lined up with them firing the the center cannon. Nothing, uh, nothing special there.
what I have learned is after you kill them, keep moving. That way, if it spawns in some other bad guys to help, you're not a sitting, uh, you're sitting duck. In order to keep moving, I have to kind of look and see where there's no rocks and then keep going that direction while I'm playing around, getting the next bounty, setting the marker, that kind of stuff. Now here, I'm not so worried about sitting still here. But in general, you don't want to sit still very often. It makes you an easy target, especially against human, uh, you know, other players. The um, Arena Commander, which is one of the like the little mini games you can get into before you jump in the universe, it's got uh, like a racing thing where you fly around and you go through these uh, these hoops that are, you know, and there's buildings and there's other obstacles. If you're new to the game, you can. Uh, it's a good place to work on your flying skills because it it you start off right inside of the spaceship. You know, it's you can get in and get flying a lot quicker to learn to control uh, parts of flying. So that would be my recommendation for people that are new to the game: is don't overlook Arena Commander for f building flying skills, or uh, or Star Marine for built for building your FPS on foot skills. Now I say that I haven't spent a lot of time in either one of them, but. Because, you know, like everything else, I just wanted to get going quickly. But that is, in fact, an option for new players. Oh, I see the guy. I see him already. I can see him against the planet. There he is right there. moving. I didn't get a chance to target him on the, the radar. I just went ahead and started firing him. That's not the one that I had targeted. There's the one that I had targeted. Tracers flying past. Let's get some distance out. And then let's turn around. Go back. There he is right there. Another eclipse. that little square diamond that something when it turns green it means 
means I'm aimed in the right spot. I've got the lead tip configured. Which lets you, uh, tells you where to aim ahead of time so that your shots end up in time and place where they're going to be. So as soon as I set the marker, I look down at that circle with the green line on it, and that tells me which way to point my ship towards my next uh, the navigational marker to get where I want to go. So that's the visual clue that I'm using is that. And then you see it's kind of pointed like that. We wait till it calibrates. Once we've pointed it close enough, it'll start calibrating. Okay, and then I'm going to go back in the map and find the, uh, find the rendezvous marker. For this guy, which I don't see. I'm not seeing it on here. Notice the cruise control was on, and that's good. It keeps me moving. I'm going to point away from the planet, but I'm going to leave the cruise control on so we keep moving. And let me go here to the missions, accepted. And you notice that VL, I don't have a bounty hunting mission here. So whatever happened to that one. Uh, so let's accept this one. And then let's see where his marker is. There's a marker right there. Okay. And then now I'm going to turn back and line up towards the marker. And we'll do our, uh, our jump drive on. Got that map to a button on the top of my left stick. I just, you know, I just uh, cut it off with my thumb. The cruise control is an easy way to crash into stuff. You set it on and you forget about it. But if you look on that left vertical, you'll see uh, there's a little red mark. That's the SCM. That's the fastest you can fly. Uh, without adverse effects and you'll notice my throttle that blue bar is all the way up and I'm at 224 meters per second velocity once we get around here I'll let off on my left stick and I'll let off on the throttle you see how it falls down if you have cruise control on it that little carrot underneath the line I've got it back off again. Now that thing that just kind of drifted over, that's the little marker showing where your vector is. And that's where, that's the direction your ship's going. If you're flying straight and level, it'll be like where your crosshairs are, but. Contact. 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 I'm just hitting with the center cannon. And then I'm going to hit with the, the wings. back around, see if we can get in the sixth position on it. Most dog fighting turns into a turning, turning fight. I mean, so. 
this point. There's two of them out here. Let's go ahead and see if we can pick up the other one. We've got to be careful I don't run into rocks now. I'm trying to look around. See, there's rocks over there. I'm, I'm not flying straight and level. Why make it easy? There he goes. There's a target. So typically, I'll turn right as they go past me. And then I'll try to get behind them on their six. If you've ever flown any other kind of flight sims, it's sort of like that. The difference is you could, if you wanted to, you know, you could um, fly backwards, which planes don't allow you to do, but you certainly have the ability to fly backwards in space. Let's get another bounty hunter mission. Let's see where they are. Scroll wheel will move the map further out or in. The um, the map there is something that was built on Flash and it's it needs improvements. So if you have difficulties with that, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised in the least bit. They're supposed to be rebuilding it. Be nice when that happens. Star Citizen is a game that is an alpha, which means it's not released. Is it, you know, can you play it? Well, yeah, I'm playing it right now. Are there bugs? Yeah, there's a lot of bugs in the game. You know, uh, there are things that work and then they become broken and they, whatever. But if you, if you want to see the game become released and you think you might have fun playing it when it's done or maybe even playing it you know now um, it's I think 40 45 dollars for your uh, for your starter package um, if you do decide you want to back the game there's a referral code that I put in the description for my uh, my uh, VODs and I put it in stream occasionally. If you use that referral code when you set up your account at Roberts Space Industries, you'll get 5,000 uh, additional in-game credits for free. If enough people use my referral code, I'll get something nice. Um, also, if you've already got the game, or you're thinking about getting the game and you want to play in a game and you're going to be playing like East Coast time in the morning or whatever that uh, equals in your area of the world. Um, if you want to join an organization for multiplayer play, I do have one. It's a Pareto Partnership. You search on it under orgs, P-A-R-E-T-O. Uh, rules are pretty simple. You got to be over 18. And that's because we occasionally might say some, a bad word and we don't want to get your mom angry at us. And uh, you need to speak English because, well, that's the language I speak the best. And uh, you need to have a mic because typing everything in, in chat while you're trying to play means you have to take your hands off the joysticks. And you need to be, uh, we require a casual commitment. And, and the willingness to at least try to do some role play. But otherwise, um, you're, willing, you're more than welcome to use the link in the description and whatnot to put in an application to the org as well. I'm trying to build an org so the people that want to get in, like I do, and typically pay for about an hour, hour and a half, want to maybe do some uh, multi-crew missions, some other types of things, uh, we can do that and have fun. So. Stay tuned. Stay watching. I'm just waiting for this guy to spawn in. There we go. There's a 
big rock there. Let's not run into the rock. Contact. Indeed, we have contact. Again, I wish the patch wasn't coming in because I would say right now I'm ready to move up to the next level, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to invest the money in the certification if uh, uh, if patches uh, if patches imminent. cruise control on I remember to take it off got to get in the habit come out of warp check cruise control and I know it's quantum jump but I say warp a lot Again, this initial marker, you just need to get close to it for it to kick off the, uh, the bad guy. There we go. got another hostile on us out here. You can see him on the radar there. Behind us. So I'm banking, I'm pulling hard, just trying to get him in front of me. I could target him. Another one down. Let's go to VLRT, Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter!
Okay, so that was that contact was another one that spawned in, but that's not the one I have the bounty on. So let's get out of here before they start shooting at us. Now again, if you you want to make sure you take call to arms, and that way you can get paid for killing those other ones, the other bad guys. But it's not as much as the bounty. So if you you know, unless you particularly feel like feel like it um, if they're right on top of you, you you might take damage while trying to accept the next bounty and then set your marker and go so usually then I'll go ahead and fight them then if if it looks like I need breathing space to, to get on to the next bounty but in a situation like that where it looks like I'll be just be able to fly away from them towards the marker and get out of there then I'll t uh, a lot of times I'll do that just depends just depends yeah, and then we get the last scene markers which is cool it doesn't tell you exactly where somebody is Another one that came in right in front of us. Why not take him on? Exactly. He tried, he died. There we go. Exactly. Again, these are all the, the very low risk targets. So, by no means are these uh, difficult, or am I particularly good? But this is what uh, this is another another game loop. If you uh, you don't want to stop mining for a while, like I was, okay, like I was doing. There we go, there we go, there's our marker. Um, then this is an option for you. I personally, I like, I like mining. Um, it's kind of calm and peaceful, unlike this, which is sort of, uh, can be hectic at times. So it really depends on whether you're looking for a chill session of gameplay, or you know, you want something a little bit more uh, energetic. Thing is, though, while you're mining, you could be jumped. You could have people that mean to do you harm, you know, come at you. Because this is a Star Citizen is like a sandbox that um, PVE is always a pos. Uh, no, excuse me, PVP, player versus player, is always a possibility. There is really no safe spaces, and as you know, as the game progresses it's going to be important to have you know like people there providing protection for you um, so even if you say well you know I, w I primarily want to run cargo or I primarily want to be a miner you still should have some basic uh, flying fighting on foot shooting skills and so um, and that's kind of if you look at the ships that I've bought um, and some other things to take the cruise control off. Uh, I'm not, I, I haven't bought primarily fighting spaceships. I've bought a lot of the exploration and other stuff. And so, 
So this is, I wouldn't consider myself primarily a PVP uh, person, but I recognize these are good skills to have. So occasionally I do this, or I do a bunker mission where you go into a bunker, you know, and you shoot people. Um, Part of the reasons I think I also gravitate to mining is the state of the servers with lag makes uh, makes the makes PvP and FPS a little bit more frustrating than it needs to be simply because the game's not there. But you could also say that server crashes and losing cargo to 30k's makes cargo run aggravating. Again, back to what I was saying, if you know. The game's in alpha. Make sure you can really accept that if you're going to spend any money. If not, don't spend any money on this game. And uh, just wait. Okay, here we go. So, center cannon. Center cannon. Right there. 1500. Go to the wings. Because the wings are set to converge at 1500. Right? So, I tend to use, uh, tend to use the wings for close in, but I'm using that cannon for when they first show up and they're beyond uh, 1500. Oh, got us 4,000, okay. Contact. Oh, looks like there's one more bad guy out here. This isn't a bounty, this is just a, an additional bad guy. So we hit the target, we look up at the right, we can see he's in an Avenger Stalker. We can see what kind of ship somebody's in. Once we target him, our radar will tell us that. Nice. So you see we got 700 credits where if we hadn't uh, if we hadn't accepted call to arms we would have been satisfied by killing it but we wouldn't necessarily got paid so and I think if you just hang around out here it'll spawn additional bad guys in but when you're fighting I'm looking at all this space crap that's flying around in general and I'm trying not to fly into it I'm looking down at that center ring to see if a red uh, radar contact show up, which are hostiles. And then once once you can target them, then I start looking at the pip to say, okay, how do I point my ship in order in order to have my guns pointed so that when I fire, they and my bullets will arrive in the same spot. So with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and go back to. Uh, Everest Harbor and call it a uh, um, call our play session for today at an end we've been playing for an hour which is a comfortable nice comfortable amount so we'll go ahead and do that we can land our ships you see now I look at that green circle and it's showing me the line and I've got that blue triangle marker and that essentially points me to where I'm going to navigate to. And now I'm looking for Everest. There's Everest Harbor. Not Lorville, but Everest Harbor is what I want. So it's, we have to use an orbital marker for things that are on the other side. The planet is blocking. Sometimes it won't plot your route right until you get to where you're going. Notice that was a square looking uh, indicator for a second. And that's uh, space stations and like landing zones are in different shapes. That's kind of cool. Sometimes it dumps you out about 60, 
to 70 kilometers away and you can do another quick jump to get to 20. It's quicker than flying in on, on uh, whatever. You notice uh, I have aimed beside the space station instead of directly at the space station. That's another hint. When you're flying towards another player that you're meeting with, you're flying towards the space station that you're going to land, um, to keep from going too fast and smashing into it, it's always a good idea to fly next to it. That way, if you do uh, screw up and you come in too hot, if you're going to uh, try to do a flip and turn and burn to use your main engines to you know, point in the direction you're going to slow you down, so you're blind for a little bit, being off to the side um, is a really good suggestion. Okay, and just because you're in the armistice zone doesn't mean necessarily that your weapons are disabled. It can also mean uh, there's a you, you can fire, but there's a penalty. You see those little um, white chevrons? Uh, those those are things. They're probably the station's guns, and we've got the prompt to contact ATC to land. So we'll go ahead and do that and get us a landing pad. Shows up in your friends list like your friends with all the landing spots. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. And then when you get an assigned landing bay, you get that circle in the thing. Now as a force to have it, as soon as I get a landing bay, I typically, unless I'm going into a tight hangar, I'll go ahead and use uh, the key to, to put my landing gear down. Landing gear so you don't try to land and forget that you got your landing gear on. Also, um, when I get permission to land, I always glance up and make sure that I don't have cruise control on too. Now from here, I can't really tell whether this is the bottom side or the top side. I'm guessing bottom side because it's dark. There are lights on your ship that you can cut on. There's a key bond for that, but we're still too far away for that to make a difference. Now there's going to be a, a, a blue, like a blue box. Um, that shows us where our landing is. And as you can see, we don't see a blue box. Oh, there it is. So we were coming from the bottom. Okay. So we're just going to fly over. Our gear's down. We're going to get in the box. Now, normally I land by hand because if you're landing on a planet or something, you won't be able to do this, but I'll demonstrate it. Once you're in this box, if you press and hold the N key, you can activate auto landing, which is kind of a cool little aid. Makes it easier for you. We land. I'm going to cut off my engines. I hit the I key. If we need to refuel repair, I'm going to go ahead and check those things. Have that happen. It's always good to remember to do that because you may forget, you may be in a hurry to get somewhere and forget. Also, sometimes it's bugged and it doesn't work like you want. And so when you really need fuel or to rearm, you can't. So it's probably a best practice to do that. So let's go ahead and get up. And I got a phone call, so I'm going to end the stream right now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you every